Well, good morning, folks. We are having some issues today, and I do not know what they are. Uh, Facebook Live is not working. I've been trying for 17 minutes to get it to work, so I'm uh, recording this and hoping that I'll be able to post it. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but good morning. Yeah, I'm in my truck. I drove to a location to try to get a better signal. It's not the signal, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe Facebook's in trouble. Maybe they got problems. I don't know. But you know what? God is good all the time. And maybe somehow this works out for the best. Uh, I don't know. But what I want to talk to you about today, let me get you a turn, if you will. Uh, or if you can. John chapter 11. Let me just get started. Lord, help us, I ask thee. John chapter 11, verse 32. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been there, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Jesus wept. Why? Why did Jesus cry? The story is that of Lazarus, a very close and dear friend of our Lord. And the family was very close to him. And, and Lazarus died. Jesus knew this was coming. He was God. Jesus knew he had been ill. Jesus had been called. Jesus did not go right away. Jesus then went. When he gets there, Lazarus has already died and he's been dead for four days. Jesus wept. Why did Jesus weep? Why did he who dried so many tears, why did he weep? Why did he cry? He was God. He is God. He was God. He knew where he was. He knew what he could do. He knew what he was going to do. He has the power to raise Lazarus from the dead. He could have prevented the death if he had so chosen. Lazarus is truly in a better place. What is there to weep about? There's no sorrow or pain where Lazarus is. If he brings him back, he's just going to have to die again. Jesus knows that this life is temporary. It's like a vapor. Why did Jesus weep? You know, we've all been through a lot of sorrow lately. Seems that we've all been touched by this pandemic or other things in our lives, aging, other issues. People are dying. People are hurting. People are sick. Things are going on in our country. We're all under stress and distress. Many have experienced that death of a loved one. The state of our nation is deplorable state of the church in the world and our nation it's deplorable in so many situations families are a wreck you know God could fix everything with just one thought he could but it's a fallen world and we live in this world and God allowed uh, men to have free will without consequences free will is irrelevant so in his wisdom he allows the consequences of our free will and so sin came into the world death by sin and here in this instance Jesus is experiencing sorrow great sorrow to the point of weeping because of sin in the world and death by sin and he had he is God he could have stopped it he could never let it happen and now he's experiencing sorrow. Yes, God's choices do have consequences. But God's choices are always wise and good. And God chose to give us a free will. So here he is. He's lost a dear loved one to death. It hurts. It hurts even God. You know, it helps to know when we've lost that loved one or experienced that sorrow that our 
our Lord experienced our pain. When we cry to him, he knows, he truly knows how we feel. Jesus is weeping because of the pain that his living loved ones here, Martha and Mary, that they have to endure from the loss of their brother. So friend, just know that when you hurt, Jesus hurts with you. And your prayers to him while in great pain and agony, they cause him pain as well. It does us good, I think, to know that God loves us this much with all he already knows, with all his great plans for us, which include heaven, which include no more tears, which include eternity with him. In fact, let me just remind you, Revelation 21, 4 says, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither there shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. God knows all of this, but he knows right now you're living in pain in this moment. He groans and travails with us during these times. There is no greater comfort than empathy. Someone who's been there, experienced that, and is just there with you for it. And so Jesus wept. He truly wept. He felt pain. He wept and it shows us that God weeps, that God hurts, that he hurts with us because he loves us. That even the almighty, all knowing, the one who lives outside of time can and does feel pain when his loved ones hurt. Jesus weeps because of the destruction of sin in the world. A man's own destruction on himself. Jesus wept because why he was 100% God, he is 100% human being. He was a real man. He lived. He wept. Oh, how great is the love of our God toward us. You know, this event shows us that uh, why, this event shows us why God did what he did to end it all. To end death, to end sin, to redeem the sin. Because God loves us and because he hurts when we hurt. Thank you, Lord. And may we say with Job, in verse, chapter 19, verse 25, Job lays it out so wonderfully. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Whatever's going on in your life, remember, you have a God who is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And he loves you. He's been there. And he'll always be there for you. God bless you. It's the Lord's day. Worship him. Be in his house if you possibly can.